everyone i'm about to put on my foot it's going to change your life if you're a public land hunter normally i don't like to give away secrets like this but uh, since we just had christmas i'm kind of in the giving spirit here you guys ready for this this right here is the best boot that any public land hunter can have okay this my friends is the bunny boot this boot is incredible and i know there are a handful of you out there right now watching this who own a pair of these or have worn a pair of these and you know exactly what i'm talking about why do i think this is the best boot in the world and why would i make a comment like that there's two reasons number one these are the warmest boots i've ever worn okay number two they're the most waterproof boots that i've ever worn and the reason that I picked those two features and why I always trust these boots is because as you guys know in my public land hunting videos, I like to do two things. I like to either go f as far back in as I can so that I get other folks willing to go as far in as I am, or I try to cross some type of you know, waterway or physical barrier that's gonna prevent other hunters from going in that far. These boots, you guys, are military grade. They're actually military surplus boots. So they're, they're pretty amazing. They have a, a woolen liner that's encased on either side by rubber, and they're just incredibly warm. There are a lot of boots out there today that either are extremely warm. You can go find those and spend a ton of money on them, right? Or you can go find boots that are completely waterproof, right? There's rubber boots, but if you found a combo that combines both of them into one boot. That's why this boot is so incredible. Now, a lot of you at home might be looking at this thinking, I don't know, Matt, it sounds like a worn boot, sounds waterproof, but I don't know if I could bring myself to wear a boot like that. You know, we call them bunny boots. I, they're actually called beta boots. Some people call them moon boots or Mickey Mouse boots. I don't really care what we call them. All I know is they're the best boots out there. And, and let's face it, I, you know, the wife gonna think this looks good? girlfriend maybe not uh, is this something you would wear on a dinner date with your wife or girlfriend maybe in Minnesota would probably do something like that okay I've done that actually <laughs> but uh, you know let's say you walk into deer camp with something like this all right and you got all the guys there maybe go over to a buddy's house to go hunting is he gonna think you look cool in these boots probably not but then ask yourself do you really care what your buddies think you look like when you're out deer hunting you see my point. Okay, so that was my first favorite piece of public land hunting gear, those boots. You need to have warm feet. Those boots are gonna keep you warm on stand all day. Now, before we get to number two, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an episode each week. Okay, the second thing that I want you guys to think about getting or using, and what works for me is a good pack, okay? This is really, really essential because we're heading out onto public land. Oftentimes, we need to put a bunch of stuff in a pack, right? You have to uh, put a bunch of clothing oftentimes, maybe some rattling horns, different things, maybe your boots you're gonna pack in. So I'm gonna show you this next item. A lot of you probably have this item at home. A lot of you I know have used this item before. A lot of you are gonna be surprised by my public land essential gear pack, okay? Let's see, this right here. Now before you laugh, I'm kidding, I don't use a trash bag. This right here, you guys, is the bag for public land, okay? I don't use that bag. Okay, in all seriousness, this is the pack that I use, you guys. This is the second piece of gear, essential gear, that the public land hunter needs to have. Now, why did I pick this pack? I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you all at home one guess as to why I picked this pack, okay? It's good green material. It's got an open lid like this, good shoulder straps, it's nice and deep. One guess, why did I pick this pack over all the other packs out there for public land hunting? answer you guys is this right here okay it's this opening a drawstring loop here if you want to add that canoe pack style pack what that means is there are no zippers on this pack that's why this pack right here is my favorite that's what i use out in the woods because it's quiet and there's no zippers. so here's how this works i threw a bunch of gear in here just as kind of a demo roll it down it's just like a canoe pack okay get everything you want in there grab the hook and just like that, you're off and running with your pack, okay? Now this too, you guys, is military surplus. So it's a good heavy duty uh, material. You get to your stand, there's no zippers, it's just this right here. And you're silently getting dressed 
whether you're out on that big swamp island or you're way back in, you pull out your warm clothes and you were able to do this quietly without any zippers. Okay, as we're rolling along here, you guys, I want you to think of a couple things. These boots that I'm wearing, the bunny boots that I talk about, this military surplus pack, uh, you know, these aren't flashy or name brand items. These are things that you can get pretty inexpensively. Uh, I believe I paid 20 bucks for this pack at a military surplus outlet online. These uh, bunny boots you can get for uh, anywhere from 30 some up to, you can pay as closer to $100 for new pairs. You, you can buy them used, they're very lightly worn. Um, for this last item, we're going to go back inside to take a look at it. But, uh, you know, one of the points I want to make in the video is that, you know, what do I not have on this list so far? I don't have a fancy bow. I don't have a, a full Sitka gear suit. Um, you know, I don't have those things that are extremely expensive with huge name brand recognition. Because, you know, let's think about it. It's not the bow that makes the hunter. It's the hunter that makes the bow, right? And not the other way around. And a lot of this stuff, a lot of this gear, well, number one, if the military uses it, you know it's quality. But number two, I like to pick things that are effective and that work, that get the job done. I'm not as interested in a cool camo pattern or the newest bow. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll probably own a Sitka suit at some point in my life. But, uh, you know, there's nothing just on its face wrong with owning nice equipment or a nice bow. But uh, the point I want to make is that we should focus on, number one, the, up here, the deer skill that we have and the heart and the, the uh, motivation we have to go after these things. Uh, first and foremost, and then the equipment comes next. Now, these boots, this pack, are essentials to me. They're truly public land essentials. I got one more item for you guys. Let's head inside to go take a look at item number three for that public land hunter essential gear list. Okay, now for this last piece of gear that I use on my public land hunts, what if I told you that for about 40 bucks at your local fleet farm, if you buy a pair of these, you get a piece of public hunting land free with it. That's really what you're getting. These right here are my hip boots. Now, in my other videos, I talk about these. My public land paradise video, uh, I talk about using hip boots to get back into remote pieces of public land where other hunters are unwilling to go. This right here is truly an essential for me on public land. These go up to the hip, just like they say. They get me through swamps and marshes. They get me out to swamp islands. They get me to that prime piece of public land on the backside of a food source that nobody else can get to because I can get through deeper water with these than you can with knee boots. Now, a lot of guys just are not willing to, to go through this effort. If you're willing to put these on in the dark with your headlamp on your way into the stand, you're, it's going to open up a whole range of other public land hunting opportunities to you that prevents a lot of other guys from going out there. So here's what I do. When I leave the truck, I'm wearing my bunny boots. These right here, I roll them up, and they go in my hunting pack, along with them, all my other bulky uh, hunting clothes. Now, when I get to that swamp or that marsh, I just pull these out of the pack, roll them out, throw them on, I put my bunny boots in my pack, and I go across the marsh wearing these, okay? When I get to the other side, I roll them up, and I just tuck them under a fallen log or a branch right on the edge of the swamp island or the other ridge across the swamp. Then I keep walking to my deer stand. I go hunt, hopefully shoot a big buck. I come back, throw these on, go back to the truck. The system that works really well, it adds a couple steps to your morning on your way in and on your way back from the stand, but it's worth it. Because again, if you wanna buy a pair of these, I think I paid 40 bucks for these at a fleet farm. Uh, it's like getting a 40 acre piece of land with it for free. Really, it, in a way it's like that. The list that I bring you guys, again, these are not expensive boots. Uh, these are just cheap, look at this stuff. This is like the cheap rubber boot material that you see. Uh, I don't know, it's like the cheapest rubber boots you can get. Again, I didn't want to spend a bunch of money. I'm probably going to poke a hole in this at some point is my guess. And if I can get two, three seasons out of these, then it was worth it for me. I just like these ones so much because they're so compact. They just, they roll down and you can just shove them in your pack like that and they save on space when you're, when you're hiking way back in. Hit that like button, I hope I earned a subscribe from you. I'm bringing you guys weekly content like this to make you a better deer hunter. I hope you are well and until next time, take care.